Okay, people, here we are for our uh, book lesson. Oh, yeah, books that Peace and Party has on his shelf, not necessarily books that he reads. But we've got the Oxford uh, Thesaurus here for all sorts of words to be brought out in my head and mouth. This is also the Chesky uh, book um, Slovnik uh, when you want to speak Czech. Yes, I've got that book as well, Czech English. Then I've got this really old book that somebody told me that I had to take because it's very old, Eastern German author. Um, it's Eine Diskussion mit Wilhelm Busch im Lichte der Modernen Medizin. Yes, so that's a book there, yeah. Then I've got another Deutsch book here, I've never ever read it or even looked at it, but it's called Stichwort Dalai Lama und Lamaismus. But it's in Deutsch, so I'm not really good there. Um, this one here, what is that? Another thing, Am Ende, Am Ende der Welt. I took it for its title. I haven't a clue how to understand Deutsch in that level. Another Deutsch book here. Um, uh, Reflexionen oder Sentenzen und Moralisches. Moralische Maximen. Yeah, so. La Rüsch Füssalt. Yeah, another book I've never read. So, this book here, uh, Ride On, also not very interested in it. Uh, it's Songs and Story. Uh, then, uh, Food for Thought. Um, fabulous Food That Won't Kill You. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really read that too much either. I had a glance at it, though. Uh, Jill Edwards, Stepping Into the Magic. I did get some use out of that, but I'm not really into meditation and stuff like that. Another book here, horror. Just found it somewhere and I took it because I actually hate horror. I'm scared of horror, and uh, but I just have this to uh, show, you know, parts of other people's lives in my apartment. I don't know. Also, this as well. I'm not into Nostradamus too much, um, but I like to have it in my apartment to remind me of the sorts of people that, you know. I uh, come up with theories that possibly could be true in the, the future, such as myself. Um, somebody gave me this book, The Drama of the Gifted Child. I started to read it and I was like, oh my god, talk about a joke of a book from a woman who hasn't a clue how to deal with people. Um, Heart to Stomach, very good book from an Irish doctor who actually uh, performs homeopathic stuff and all sorts of other nutritional help and not just taking drugs, Dr. John McKenna. Also on the medical thing, uh, bush flower healing, um, you know, uh, basically uh, you can read all about it on Google. Um, then I took this book just because it was uh, Chinese on it and it's got, like, it's basically a bilingual collection um, of what languages, yes, Chinese and English. And it talks about all the kind of old stories of China. Um, in good, like, I love the Chinese way because, you know, like, Yi Fan Feng Xun is like, may your Boat sail gently uh, across the sea, like may everything be all right. Self healing. I just have this book. I had another great book. What was it called? The Power Is Within You, Louise L. Hay. Excellent. Uh, this is nothing in comparison. But I just have it again, just, you know, I just came across it. Then this book was given to me Anger. Yeah. Um, I, d I didn't find it very interesting or, you know, you know, I didn't get it, you know, but uh, sometimes I got it. The Tone is supposed to be like, you know, one of the most important books for the Irish, but I'm not that Irish, so I don't, you know, I haven't read it. I don't read really into that sort of stuff. Um, basic Group Work, um, yeah, that's been an interesting book enough, you know, to get some ideas on how to deal with groups and talking to groups. Um, this, I don't know where that came from, but that's on my bookshelf. Uh, the Reise Handbook. Yeah, for Zanzibar, I have no idea. Where is it for? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, then I have a book here with no cover, The God, The Limps. Uh, I thought that was an interesting book for a while as I sat in the toilet. And um, then I've got uh, another book here from my, my cousin actually, Mark Coleman, did that, wrote that book. Kind of interesting read. Um, um, then I've got this book here, you know, uh, The Sex Life of My Aunt. 
you know, I, I thought at the time, oh, oh, maybe I should read some dribble. And I started to read dribble and then I realised I don't want to read dribble anymore. Um, another book, The Four Agreements, which helps with anger stuff, it's supposed to anyway. And simply, I again, don't get the meanings behind these stories that are said, or told, or written. Um, I am, thankfully to my brother, uh, subscribed to the National Geographic for the remainder of this year. That's great. That's brilliant. I really appreciate that. I love the National Geographic. Then uh, I have this big thing here. Um, transitions to a heart-centred world. Yeah. Um, and I just discovered it um, today after I just got all the books out to do this book thing for you to show you what's on my bookshelf, you know. Um, Corpus Bracca, like, you know, figuring out how people are feeling by what they're looking like, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Corpus Bracca, which of course I don't get any information from because it's all in Deutsch. I like this book, I bought this instead of buying drugs, <laughs> I'm joking, in Australia, and there's price tag still on it, $67.99, $67, $68 basically for that, but Australia's... Uh, dangerous creatures. It's even got like, um, you know, like kangaroos. Oh Jesus, there's my phone. Oh, that's my mother. <laughs> I actually bought this book when my mother was there. So, and my mother also bought me this book, Screenwriting Updated, because she thinks I could write films and stuff. And the last book I have is Images of Irish Nature. So, off to my mother. Hello. Good, good. Yeah. That's funny, yeah, because I was just, uh, I'm just doing a video now here of, of, yeah, of uh, images of Irish nature, the book that you gave to me, and also the Ride On book, which I never read, and the Screenwriting Updated book, I was just showing people on YouTube what I have on my bookshelf, but I don't read it. So, yeah, all good with you? Cool. Not tomorrow on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. I won't do anything of that now.